Hey folks, this is Benjamin Garrett from the Interactive and Immersive HQ. Uh, I'm an immersive installation artist based in San Diego. Uh, I primarily work with LED tape and syncing visuals to sound on large structures and spaces. Today I'm going to show you a technique for creating animations with 2D images uh, for use in pixel mapping with LED tape. Um, this will be less of a tutorial, but more of an overview of how the technique works. Uh, I'm not going to go into how to output data from Touch Designer to LED tape, but instead using uh, a visualization like you can see here on how these animations might look. Um, I'll, incl I'll include uh, a link in the description with a tutorial from Ben Voigt that goes into detail on how to set up uh, a pixel mapping visual visualization in Touch Designer and how putting it to LED tape. Um, that's kind of a lengthy thing and it's been covered quite a bit elsewhere. Um, it's not required to watch that first, um, but it'd be helpful to have an understanding of the process in advance. So if you're, if you're already familiar with, uh, if you're already working with LED tape and uh, pixel mapping, um, you can probably skip that. But if you're totally new to pixel mapping, I do recommend going to watch that tutorial first. Back in 2018, I worked on a project with Kyle Stewart, which was a large tetrahedron structure um, that we mapped to LEDs. We worked with musicians Danny Rogers and Tim Geminer, uh, who wrote an original score for the piece. Uh, a goal for this project was finding a way to create animations that took advantage of the structure, uh, the structure's form specifically. Um, for example, easily being able to light up each triangle section of the tetrahedron um, and maybe animate light as if it's moving from one segment to another, you know, so maybe I wanted an animation to go around a complete triangle. Um, let me show you a quick, quick video from that piece. It's a little old, so uh, don't mind the quality. So as you can see, the the animations are very specific and very tightly synced to the audio. So frequently when you're doing pixel mapping, um, you'll lay out uh, the, the pixels virtually in Touch Designer or Resolume, um, and you'll sort of sample uh, a line of pixels from a video you're running, which is, is great if you're doing a bunch of pixel strips on a two-dimensional surface. Once you start to work with sort of a three-dimensional surface and you want to utilize the different segments, that technique isn't quite as it's not it's it won't be as easy to do some interesting things using that technique so i got to go to the day for night festival in 2017 and i got to see play modes uh installation cluster um which is uh it's a matrix of uh leds mapped to columns So I'll just skip through this a little bit. Um, you can go to the website, uh, put a link in the description. You can check the page. Yeah, this piece is pretty important. So in looking at this website, uh, and looking at their website, I was kind of scrolling through the images and these caught my eye. Um, wasn't totally sure how they were using the images, but uh, they kind of gave me an idea um, for making uh, my own making animations for Tetra Loom. Um, I think I could be wrong, but I think play modes is actually generating visuals and audio from these images. So that's where I got this idea from. So let me jump back to touch designer. So as you can see, this is a, you know, th this is our visualization of our led strip. Um, we just have uh, a growing green bar. Super straightforward. Um, you could pro you could approach this in a number of different ways. Um, you could 
you could use a rectangle top in touch designer and you could you could adjust the you could transform uh, the width of that and have it scale you can make an animation uh, and something like after effects and you could put that in there um, but in this case we're using a two-dimensional image um, and the two-dimensional image is just having its y position transformed uh, with an lfo so the idea here is that we're literally sending you know this almost works like a uh like a music box or maybe an old school um piano that you'd see in like a western you know the, the you see the, the pianos that play by themselves in like a western film um it's just sort of using uh you know in that case it's making notes in this case we're showing leds um and this you're sort of wondering well why would i do this like what's how what, what's the advantageous about this well this allows this sort of uh, this this is a quicker way maybe to make very specific detailed animations uh, for LED strips, um, and you can actually do it really quickly. Uh, you can and you can use your favorite design software to do it. Uh, in my case, I'm using uh, Figma, so I'll, I'll get into these in a second. But you actually see some of these animations are you know they're just yeah they they do different things. But I'll jump back to Touch Designer. So this is just our triangle. Um, it's making a, you know, it's making a bar grow. Uh, this, let's go to our switch and we'll change this to a different input. So you can see it's, we've just got a curve here um, that's generating this. Um, this animation is a ease out, ease in. Yeah, that's an ease out, ease in. So you can see the curves here are actually generating the speed of our animation. This guy is, uh, you know, if you guess, maybe if you're following, I mean, this is just a fade for the whole strip. Uh, gradient, super easy, you know. Um, you can get a little, little more interesting with it. If we staggered four of these uh, in in vertical space, we get we get a bar that fades in from left to right. Um, put a bunch of dots on the screen. What's that going to look like? Uh, right, well, let's see. So. Um, you got a bunch of growing bars and you can imagine you can make this image really tall with a whole bunch of different dots and um, you know it just you have a bunch of dots flashing all over the place this isn't quite you know you, you could probably achieve the same effect um, with a lot of these like in touch designer or maybe you could create animations and after effects but that becomes pretty time consuming um, if you're trying to iterate pretty quickly. And what if I want to work with more than just one LED strip? Um, so this is an example of just one. Let me jump out and come back into this guy. And what about what if we have four? Um, this is also sort of a you know this is also a flat you know a flat structure display. But um, this is the same idea, but we're using a little more of a a little bit different of a pixel map. Um, as you can see, we've got four triangles, red, green, blue, and white that are passing down the center. You could actually think of these, um, each one as like a vertical column. If you're familiar with Ableton, you can almost think of these as like, uh, that's your column. Actually, I don't know if Ableton really has much to do with it, but that's your track, actually. Actually, that's, that's the comparison to Ableton. Uh, each one of these is on a track and each track is associated with a specific LED strip. So, so yeah, this is pretty boring. We've got a couple triangles um, animating, but what if we want something a little, a little more interesting? What if we want, we want an animation where the LEDs look like they kind of grow around the entire square. So I made a couple examples. Um, let's see. So that's what we're looking at right now. This is, this is the animation that goes all the way around. So open that one up. And you see, it's literally just a bar that goes from bottom left to top right, and that animates all the way around. Let me pause for a second and kind of explain what's going on here. Um, it was pretty clear when using one strip, but when using when we're using four, let me go back to the uh, the triangles. That's a little more clear. Where are my triangles? There they are. 
So like I said, each one of these, you can think of each each triangle is in its own vertical channel, or uh, you know, uh, and with a crop top, we want to separate each one of these into the individual channel, um, and we also want to crop it to one pixel in height. So where you can see one of these does each vertical channel or strip. Um, and then we take all those strips and using a fit top, we'll reposition them. Um, so they're, so imagine if you took all your LED strips and you laid them out from left to right, sort of in, in sequence, um, that, and then we combine them into a comp top and then we're sampling our RGB data and then we're sending that. In this case, you know, we're just using a visual, you know, 3D visualization, um, sending all that to a, you know, a geometry comp. And like I said, um, if you want to learn the visualization side of this, watch Ben Voigt's uh, tutorial. Um, so getting back to, okay, why, why are we here? We're learning a technique more than like a tutorial. Um, so if you want, I just trying to explain or, or sort of show that this is a super fast way to sort of iterate on these animations. Like, okay, this is, there's some triangles. This is pretty boring. Let's go to Figma and let's, we have, so I took the triangles and I just stacked them, reversed them and stacked them on top of each other. And if we open that file, you might be able to guess what's gonna happen. So they grow and they come back. Um, so let's look at some of these other examples I put together. Uh, trying, we saw the one that goes around the square. What if we want some easing in that? Um, if easing is we're adding curves to, like we saw in the single strip, we're adding curves to the shape um, and this is gonna ease in and then ease out. So let's show that one. So we get a pretty cool sort of speedy ease in and ease out using this animation. Um, what if I want another one going the total opposite direction? Well, you basically just duplicate it, change the color, and you've got uh, you've got that animation. So I made these all super fast, I'm like literally like less than a minute each. Um, and so you can really just play with you know designs and see what you come up with. Um, here's a bigger version of the the fades that you saw with the single strip. Uh, let's show that guy, and it kind of does what you expect it to do. But what if I wanted? What if I wanted more, you know, I wanted to do something like the single strip where it fades, you know, just in different segments. This is like literally we can do this in like 10 seconds. So let's grab this guy, shrink it down, and then we're going to duplicate it, duplicate, duplicate. We're going to export. Let's call this sequence G, save, come over to Able uh, Touch Designer. Let's load that up. And then there you go. Like it's that literally that fast. And, uh, and so that's kind of the point I'm trying to make here. Like if you were trying to do this with After Effects or Touch Designer or any other, anything else to sort of create these animations um, with a video, this would take a ton of time. Like you just saw me do this, change this in, in sort of 10 seconds. So I showed you, you know, the two dimensional Example, um, I use this for a project that I built recently called Service and in Installation, um, which is a 10 foot by 10 foot cube. And this is why this was so important because I did, we, you know, Kyle and I and the other guys, uh, Danny and Tim and I did Tetraloom, which is the title of that project. You can find this in the, the links in the description. Um, and we, and then I, I, did the solo project many years later. This was actually done this year. Um, I wanted to do a cube and get more detail of it. So I'll show up and I'll play some of this and you can see, see what's kind of going on. Um, let me jump over to Ableton and skip forward a little bit. So 
so this insulation is actually, you can actually go inside of it. It's like I said, 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot. You can watch it from the outside. Um, and these animations, uh, this is actually where we're looking at the four Q, uh, sorry, the Q, not the cube, <laughs> the square, where it's just four segments. We now have 12 segments, so it gets pretty complex. So I, you have to actually do quite a bit of planning to kind of keep wrap your head around how some of this, you know, keep track of your segments. Um, I'll just show real quick some what some of the maps the animation maps look like. You saw the the, the simple ones were, were using one strip or four strips. This is now 12 strips. Um, and what's great about this is you can sync this stuff to audio really quickly. Um, what I actually did was uh, I would take screenshots of the wave files from the audio and I would put them in in Sketch, or sorry, Figma, while well, I was working in Sketch at the time, I would put them in Figma and I would line them up vertically and then each square, I'd make a grid of, a grid in my design software and each each square would be a measure. Um, so you can sort of break that down into, uh, you know, notes, you know, notes, uh, whole notes, quarter notes, eighth notes, et cetera, and you can just iterate really quickly. Uh, so... So yeah, um, I think that's it. Uh, hopefully uh, you guys find this helpful. Um, you know, there's there's just a lot, like there's a lot that can be done with this de depending on your structure. Um, you know, if you're doing something uh, that's got, I don't know, 16, 20, 30 sides, it's gonna get pretty deep. You're gonna have to keep track of like, okay, where do things go and start making diagrams to map everything out. But once you get your head wrapped around it, um, you can get some really detailed and very specific animations uh, to that structure. So yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate uh, you taking the time. Take care. Hey folks, thanks for watching. If you like our YouTube content, I highly recommend you check out the Interactive and Immersive HQ Pro. The HQ Pro is the only comprehensive educational resource and community for immersive design, touch designer, and creative tech pros. In the HQ Pro trainings, we cover almost any topic you can think of, and we go way more in depth than we do in our YouTube tutorials. We have a private group where Matthew Reagan, myself, and our other industry veteran and pioneer teachers answer your questions every single day. If that sounds cool, click the link in the description to learn more. And if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more free touch designer and immersive content.